Hi, today I prepared two multiple choice questions for you and I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve these problems on your own and when you would be ready you can uh, run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first uh, problem. At the single locus with two alleles mm, dominant S and uh, recessive S uh, if the frequency of the dominant allele is 0 0.72 in population, then the frequency of the recessive allele is... And uh, how we are going to solve this problem? Imagine that we have dominant allele and we have recessive allele. These two types of alleles uh, may produce three genotypes. One would be homozygous dominant, another one would be heterozygous and the last one would be uh, homozygous recessive. So uh, if we told that uh, these two uh, genotypes that is homozygous dominant and uh, one dominant alleles present in heterozygous form so if this uh, would equal to 0 0.72 and uh, I also want to tell you that when we add up all these frequencies of all three genotypes they should equal to 1 and 1 should equal to 100 percent. This is just a different scale. Uh, first scale when we have all the numbers between 0 and 1 and uh, another one when we have everything between 0 and uh, 100%. So on the scale where we work with percentages, we work between 0 and 100%. So, for example, here, 0 0.72, if we need to give uh, an answer in percentage form, we just have to multiply by 100. So this would equal to 72%. For those of you who prefer to work uh, uh, with percentage form, so we can say that this is uh, 72%. And now it's very easy to tell that if we have 72% here, plus something here, uh, plus uh, something here, this should equal to 100%. So we can tell that uh, this frequency would be equal to 0 0.28 or to uh, 28% here. So this is going to be frequency of the uh, homo uh, allele S present, small allele S present in heterozygous form and in homozygous recessive. So as you see the correct answer would be C 0 0.28 and this is the same as 28%. So uh, 72 plus 28 0 0.28 would equal to 1. So this is how we find uh, frequencies uh, of two alleles present in three uh, genotypes. Now we can move to the second uh, problem. In a sample from a population where uh, were 65 individuals with a homozygous dominant genotype, 30 individuals with heterozygous genotype and 50, 15 individuals with the homozygous recessive genotype, the frequency of the recessive allele was. So now we given uh, almost the same kind of problem, but in instead of uh, frequencies, we are given real numbers of the individuals. So let's uh, once again list all the genotypes. So first genotype would be homozygous dominant. Then we have a uh, heterozygous genotype and then we have homozygous recessive genotype. 
and frequency of the dominant would be 65 individuals so here would be 65 we don't use 0 0.65 because this is uh, not frequency this is real numbers of the individuals so 65 individuals that belong to the homozygous dominant genotype we also have 30 individuals that belong to the heterozygous genotype so 30 here and we also have um, 15 individuals that belong to the uh, homozygous recessive genotype so uh, now we have to find the frequency of the uh, recessive allele B how we are going to do it uh, it's very easy so uh, we have to understand that when we have 65 individuals here this 65 individuals would be homozygous dominant for the um, or would have two alleles that is capital B so we have to multiply 65 by 2 and the answer would be that uh, here we would have 130 uh, alleles that is capital B and uh, as for the uh, this uh, uh, heterozygous individuals they would also have two alleles but one allele would be capital B and another would be uh, small b so uh, altogether they are going to have 60 alleles but this is going to be 30 alleles that is capital B plus 30 alleles that is uh, small b so together they would have 60 so uh, this is would be uh, number of the alleles that is capital B and uh, in the uh, last example of the heterozygous form uh, that is he uh, homozygous form I'm sorry uh, once again we would have 15 individuals each one would have two uh, alleles that is uh, small b so together this 50, 15 individuals would have 30 uh, recessive alleles that is small b so uh, we have 30 small b alleles here and we have uh, 30 small alleles b here so uh, now we have to find the frequency how we are going to do it it's very easy once again we have to add all these numbers uh, to find the total number of alleles so this is going to be 130 plus 30 plus 30 this is going to be uh, 190 plus 30 this is going to be 220 and now we also know uh, that we have uh, 30 alleles that is uh, small b in heterozygous form and we have 30 alleles that is uh, present in homozygous recessive form so to, uh, together this is going to be 60 so we have to divide 60 alleles by total number that is uh, 220 and uh, if we divide uh, this number by this number the correct answer would be I don't have much space left so I just transfer it here so if we divide 60 uh, recessive alleles by total number of alleles that is 220 the answer would be 0 0.27 and once again if we need to give an answer as percentage we can say that this is 27 percent we just have to multiply this number by 100 but our answer today is given on the scale between 0 and 1 so this is answer A 0 0.27 this is all for today thank you for your attention Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.